Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be hilarious. It's such an accurate representation of motherhood and it just reminds you that you have to just laugh your way through motherhood and you can't take yourself too seriously, but you also have to indulge in and enjoy the small moments like looking at family pictures and having matching Elsa braids and just letting your toddler get a little dolled up, putting just a little makeup on and seeing her cute little face make these kissy lips in the mirror. If you're a mom, you know this is the stuff you melt over. <laughs> and I get to keep these memories forever. It's the best. These are the things that motherhood is made of. It can also be very hard and that's something I'm gonna talk about at the end of today's vlog. Some feelings I've been having over quarantine and just kind of share how I've been doing so see if my fellow mamas on here can relate and really just an honest update. <laughs> We're gonna go through so much together. I already know. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Oh, so cute. So everybody, you dress. I got this dress from Walmart, you guys. Literally, so cute. This is my outfit of the day. You guys have seen. So Rosalie and I are on our way to go see Boss Grandma, right? And I brought her potty with just in case because I don't think my grandma has. I don't think my grandma has a potty, so I brought her potty with. My hazards are loud, I'm gonna get out. You want me to stand outside? I think it's about to get real stinky. Okay. No, don't stay here. You want me to get out? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the fans a little bit. You doing okay? Yes. It's a good thing you brought your potty with, huh? <laughs> Rosalie is pooping on the potty <laughs> in my car. It's a good thing we brought the pink potty because otherwise we'd be out of luck, wouldn't we? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> what do you see? You got a nice view right now, don't you? Yeah. Shut the door for now. You need some space? Yeah. Shut the door for now. Okay, we'll see you soon. It's gonna be a potent car ride to Boss Grandma's, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back out here and get that stinky toilet. Got it! Yeah. Hey, is this an invasion? It is. <laughs> Go run, she's over in the plants over there. Hi! Hi. Oh, <laughs> I love you so much. Am I chopped liver now? Yeah. Oh. Grandpa's outside washing my car. He is an absolute gem. <laughs> and he just bought us ice cream. Thanks, Grandpa. He's the best. All right, we're going to the bank right now. Chloe, get inside. Get inside. She wants to come with us. Come on. You guys stay here. Mwah. What's on your nose? A uh, coin. You're gonna take your coin to the bank? Yeah. All right, Rosalie. Smile. Show everybody how much you look like Mama. Cheese. And then there's Mama. There's Rose. And there's Mama. You look so much alike. Can I see your blush? 
Like what? Um. I'll put a little lipstick on you. Yeah! You're like you, you're like mama. You have eyelashes like mama. Mama, I wear your eyelashes too. Mm, thank you. Rosalie saw me doing my makeup and she had to do some too, huh? Mmm, mmm. I did lipstick. Spray it on your chest. Now, I want to clean my ears. You want to clean your ears? Yeah, it's so cute with my lipstick. Do a kiss lips, let me see them. Oh! <laughs> what were you just saying? Were you saying subscribe? Were you just saying subscribe? Walking down the steps going, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is the fit. It's from Walmart. <laughs> and the final piece. Ooh, the bag. <laughs> what? It's going to Where's your shoes? To the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> oh, say it again. One more time. One more time. Subscribe. Say it again. Say it again. Subscribe, Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Try it again. Say no to her. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> Bunnies like to eat carrots. Yeah, they like to eat carrots. They're they don't funny. like chocolate bars. No. I like chocolate bars on my tummy too. Oh, I know you do. Did you startle him? I love him. He's so soft. I love his beautiful colors. He's so soft. Yeah, he's a beautiful bunny. You want this? And that is the end of today's vlog. Now I'm going to read a very intimate journal entry that I made the other day. I'm very nervous about sharing it and I know that I need to share it because I know I'm not the only mom who feels this way. I think it's really important that I share this. Okay, so it says, 
Frustration cannot even begin to describe it. I feel stuck in the depths of my soul. Today has been hard. I want to be able to pursue my career, my business. Having so much drive and focus can be a burden sometimes. It is sometimes very difficult for me to slow down, to play. I feel like a bad mom all the time, and yet I love Rosalie so much it hurts. I know I'm not a bad mom, but somehow I still allow my mom guilt to suffocate and basically bury me alive. How can I so desperately want to go be productive with my own existence and simultaneously want nothing more than to soak up every single sugary sweet moment gifted to me with my baby girl? Being a mother sometimes hurts and I really want to do it again someday, but can my career afford it? I feel like motherhood very often absorbs me I can't always remember life beyond my four walls. It's because I love you so much, it hurts, my dear. That is motherhood. I want to hold on to every piece of these days with you. And now I'm crying because I simply do not want you to grow up. I do not want this to end, but I don't want me to end either. So I will hang on to both with a locked grip and do the very best I can because it's all I can do to love me and to love you. And then maybe an hour later, after some more thought, <laughs> I wrote, relax, you were made for this, look for the good, the rest is just a part of the process. And this is kind of like an affirmation, but this was a previous journal entry that I think might be beneficial for you guys to hear and remind yourself, write some words, some characteristics that you value, and if you don't already embody those characteristics, there's something you're aiming for. The only way to accomplish that is to keep those front of mind and remind yourself. So that's why affirmations are actually useful, because you attract what you put out. This is obviously personalized for me, but this is what it says. Continue to remember the woman you are becoming. Keep her in mind with every decision. Disciplined, intentional, aware, self-assured, faith-filled, level-headed, rational, in control at all times. You're in control of your thoughts. Thank you. Attitudes and perceptions. God is in control of everything else. Anybody else's kids obsessed with putting on chapstick? Do you think you have enough? I just, no, I don't like it. Can I have some? Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up because it really supports our channel. But that's just a little peek into my mom brain. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way on occasion. It's not always this way. You guys know some days you feel like you can do anything and you can accomplish anything and you can be anything and you have all the energy to do all the things and sometimes it's the total opposite. So this is definitely not how I always feel but, but I never want to seem like I'm all positive, all happy all the time because it's not attainable. <laughs> Even if you are a positive person because I definitely am. And I do feel I embody a lot of the qualities I listed, but those are things that I just want to continue to pursue. If you guys enjoyed today's little honesty spiel, which I hope you did, and most of all, I hope you could relate to it or maybe even learn something from what I said. I don't know, whatever. I'm here to give love, you know? So I hope I shared something lovely with you today. Goodbye.